How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And in this one we have two devices from Huawei to unbox and check out in this video. So we have the new Huawei Mate 40 Pro, as you can see there. Really uh, excited to look at this and see what it's all about. And the first time ever as well while we are launching uh, this overhead pair of headphones. It's the Freebuds uh, Studio, which I'm also excited to take a look at as well. So we're going to unbox this and see what they're all about, show you all the features as well. Uh, but we're going to spend a lot more time on the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. And I also have a surprise for you guys, which is the fact that I'm actually filming this whole thing on another Mate 40 Pro right now, which is right there. So hopefully you guys can hear uh, the audio quality as well as the video quality. You can see the whole thing from the get-go as we recorded this thing. So guys, as you're watching, make sure you uh, pay attention to that and drop comments below as well. Let me know what you think of the video quality as well as the sound quality as well. So uh, let's go. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, so here we are. This is the box itself. So this is available in Mystic Silver and the black version as well. So this one here uh, is the black version. And the one that I'm recording on is the uh, Mystic Silver, which hopefully I'll be able to swap them around and show you guys what that one looks like as well, because that looks amazingly nice and beautifully designed as well. So opening it up, we have... The device that greets us straight away so i just put that to the side uh, for a second we'll come back to that looks really nice and then underneath here we have a sim ejector tool so you can take your sim card out and uh, it's just nicely embedded in there and then in here we have the usb to usb c cable for charging and data transfer so that's that and then we also have a pair of in here headphones so this is a USB-C one so you don't have to uh, you don't need an adapter or anything like that so gone are those days where we needed a, a USB-C adapter to 3.5 mil headphone uh, adapter and inside here we also have a 66 watt Huawei supercharge as well so this is new as well which I'll talk about uh, further down the line in this video but it just means you'll be able to charge your phone uh, really quickly and this is really really fast this is 66 watt uh, so I'm looking forward to how quickly uh, that charges then just uh, bring that closer there so you can see 66 watt there by the way i'm still recording on a huawei mate 40 pro so i'm now uh sort of facing away from the from the phone so hopefully still picking up the audio really well so you guys can hear everything that i'm saying but that's it for everything inside the box uh so we can switch this on now switch the mate 40 pro one and see and see what it's all about talk you through all the specifications and stuff one thing i do notice is they have a screen protector already pre-installed on here as well. Uh, so you, again, you don't have to go out and buy a screen protector to go on your smartphone straight out of the box. So this is the Mystic Silver version. I've actually just swapped them around because I kind of like this color and I wanted to show it off more than I do the black one. But uh, this is this Mystic Silver and you can see how the colors just shimmers and shift colors as you move it around against light there as well. So it looks really nice. It's got this nice matte finishing as well so again just gives that extra grip in hand as well so you have these curved edges all around it so you're looking at 88 degrees horizon oled display so on on both sides you can see the curved edges there which looks really nice what they've also done is uh they've put the volume rockers back there and the physical in terms of physical buttons so you got your power and your volume rocker there but you still got that touchscreen one as well so by tap double tapping on the side uh you can still adjust the volume control on either sides as well so i can do it like double tapping like so on the other side as well. And you can also configure them as well for gaming. So if you're playing a first person shooter game, for example, you can configure those uh, touch area there to be your shoulder buttons, uh, which can be really useful and give you that edge uh, over everyone else playing the game. On the back again, we have this new space ring camera layout, which is very symmetrical as well to the rest of the smartphone. You can see the equal distances there. It looks really nice and very unique, just like all the Mate series. So if you've seen the Mate 30 Pro uh, and the Mate 20, etc., you see how unique they are in terms of camera layouts and the design. So when you take this out and about, people will know that you are carrying a Mate series device for sure. Uh, on the front, like I was talking about before, you have a 6.76 inch Full HD Plus display. And this is an OLED panel as well, so it looks really nice. The, the, the deep blacks, the brightness, it looks really good, especially when you're watching uh, videos or playing games, that kind of stuff. It just stands out and looks really nice. I really like that. This also supports full DCI P3 color space. So again, uh, for those that are going to be editing photos or editing videos on the go, uh, you'll be able to ex experience that and enjoy the ability to uh, edit your photos in accurate colors, which looks uh, which sounds really good to me. You also have 90 hertz uh, refresh rate and 240 hertz uh, touch response. Uh, so again, if you go into settings, for example, you'll be able to adjust this in display settings. If you go to display settings, you have your screen refresh rate. Uh, so you can change it from the standard 60 hertz 
or you can just leave it at the high refresh rate up to 90 hertz for smoother animation or if you're gaming you'll be able to notice that a lot more than anything else and that 240 hertz refresh that touch response is really good again for the gamers out there you got resolution there so you can have it on smart resolution or you can just leave it manually to be always on high uh, it just means that when your smartphone doesn't need to be on high resolution it can also adjust it down like it needs to do uh, if you go in more display settings there's some stuff that you need to look at as well uh, so for example if we go into full screen display you can select apps that optimize for that if you go on the cutout on the front because you have that cutout uh, display there you can hide it like so or you can leave it on as default. I'll, I'll leave it on as default because I actually don't mind it there. You also got the edges as well. So these curved edges, uh, if you wanna uh, leave it, just you don't take advantage of the curved edges, you can hide it as well. So you just put a bit of black bar uh, around it. So you can do that for different applications. So you can do it for all applications or you can set the applications that you wanna do that for. So if you come back out, uh, that's it for the display settings. Uh, and you can switch on dark mode as well for those who likes their dark mode in terms of settings you can do that but we'll leave that off for now so we can actually see the rest of the device you've also got color mode and temperature uh, which is useful so you can adjust from normal to vivid i leave your normal because when i edit my photos i need to see them in the natural colors and then warmth as well, warmth as well i leave it as default rather than changing the warmth or coolness i just leave it as default so it's as natural as it can be. So that hole punch camera on the front as well, you see we've got this dual setup here. It's actually not a dual camera setup. Uh, so one of the one of them on the right is your camera, which also supports uh, a super wide angle situation. So if you wanna get more people in, you can do so. And the other one is for your 3D face unlock. Uh, again, so uh, smart gesture control, all that kind of stuff. That sensor will be doing all that work for you there. That super wide angle lens uh, is also very useful, uh, like I said, for capturing more people. So it's got this thing where it can automatically know when you've got people in the shot. Uh, so you can go from, if we go back out, so we see ourselves, hello. Uh, so what you've got is you can do this slider to get more people in. So you can go ultra wide, like so, or one times. But this can also automatically pick up. So if you have one person in the shot, it would go under standard mode. If you have two people in, it will go wider. And then if you have three people in, it can automatically go in super wide. So it picks up everyone in your shot as well. For processing power, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro is actually rocking the latest 5 nanometer Kirin 9000 flagship uh, SoC. Uh, so this is very advanced. So that 5 nanometer is the process that they used uh, to actually produce the chip itself, uh, which just means you have more power and you also get better performance as well. So you can see how it's just nice and smooth there. And in terms of efficiency, again, battery management is much better in terms of RAM uh, management, all that kind of stuff. It just works really well. As part of that SoC as well, uh, you get the latest Mali uh, G78 GPU in there, which is good for higher game frame rate gaming, for example. Uh, so you've got extra power there in terms of graphics as well. And it doesn't stop there. You also have Huawei's uh, NPU, the latest one with two big cores and one tiny core in there. Elsewhere as well, so on here, you also get 5G mode and built in with that SOC. So if you have 5G where you are, it means you'll be able to download data uh, very quickly. So if you're watching a, a series and you want to download an episode before a flight, you'll be able to do that very quickly before getting on your flight as well, which is very handy and very useful. Uh, what you've also got on here is uh, 8 gig of RAM and 256 gig of internal storage. And you've got EMUI 11.0 running on here, which is very smooth. It makes applications easy to find. The layout is right nice and easy as well. And in terms of settings, it's easy to find things that you need to uh, set, change settings for. For example, display settings is there. All the basics that you need are there. And you can also search right at the top there. What's also great as well is this uh, software ecosystem is building rapidly as well. It's growing rapidly in terms of what's available in the App Store. Uh, so for example, we have this new Maps application, which is very uh, smooth as well. I've been trying it out. It's very smooth to get from A to B. Uh, just simple search and it just works really well. Uh, if you come out of that, you've also got your app gallery, which you can then look for different applications uh, like Instagram. So if you do Instagram, for example, it will come up with the available application so you can download it, you can update it. Uh, if it's not available yet, you can just add it to your wish list as well. So you'll be notified as soon as it's available uh, in the App Store. You've also got Petal Search, uh, which you can use to search for applications, news, uh, all kind of different things, videos, etc. You can also use it to update your applications as well. As always, when you get a new Huawei device, you've got phone clone application, so you can use that to uh, sort of move your applications over from your previous device. You can move them over to here. So at the moment, I've got things like my Instagram moved over, Twitter, TikTok, 
Uh, my photo editing tools are there as well, like Lightroom. I can use that to, uh, I can put down there straight away using phone clone and application tool, and then I can start editing my photos on the, on the go. It's still downloading my photos in the background, so that might take uh, a while, but you can see some photos there loaded already. Uh, so I can then go ahead and uh, start editing from here if I really want to do so. As mentioned earlier, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro supports 65 watt Huawei wired supercharge and the new generation 50 watt uh, Huawei wireless supercharge as well, which is pretty quick, it's rapid. I was just charging my phone uh, over there using the wired one and it just creeps up very quickly. You can see actually charging as you plugged it in, you can see charging on the screen as well, which is pretty neat. Um, with that as well, you still got your reverse wireless charger. So if you have the three watts Pro, for example, you can just place it on the back and you're good to go in terms of charging it with uh, charging other devices with it as well. Onto the camera, which is my favorite part of any smartphone in general, is we have this new Ultra uh, Vision Cine Camera System. So this comprises of two Cine cameras there, uh, which is pretty cool. So this all camera system comprises of uh, a 12 megapixel, so 125 millimeters focal length, f3.4 periscope, telephoto camera on the side there. As you can see that big lens just on the corner there. So this supports five times optical zoom. It's got optical image stabilization. Uh, you can do 10 times hybrid zoom on here or up to 50 times uh, digital zoom. But when you shoot a video, you've got 15 times available to you. So you then have a main camera, which is your 50 megapixel RYYB 23 millimeters focal length. So that's F 1.9 aperture. It's got, uh, this is a super sensing wide camera with one 1.28 inch sensor, which is uh, RYYB, as I said already. You have four in one pixel binning technology there, so you get high resolution images. If you want to punch in IR later on and edit it and all that kind of stuff, you can do so with that. You also get that full pixel Octa PD autofocus. So, again, focusing on it is super quick as I find out. So, if I move this up, for example, you can see how quickly that focuses on the camera and then when I move it back down, it's still, uh, you still have that full focus going on here, autofocus. Uh, going on on here, which is really good. Um, elsewhere, you then get that uh, 20 megapixel, 18 millimeters. Uh, this is your ultra wide angle camera. This f 1.8 aperture, and it's got uh, one 1.53 inch sensor. Again, very large sensor to capture a lot of light, a lot of detail uh, when shooting, both in low light and normal lighting condition. Um, I've been using this to take photos as well. So again, it just looks really nice when you're taking photos of this. So just turn that the other way around. So you got your ultra wide, which captures everything, and uh, you can go up all the way to 50 times digital zoom there. One thing you've also got when shooting videos on here uh, is that HDR. So again, with this, you get XD Fusion HDR video, which is enabled, enabled by default. And this is just being powered by that ISP that's in there, powerful quad core ISP to process uh, all that data set that it captures uh, to get really good video quality when shooting videos on the go. So this is great for all you creatives out there. You also have a built-in AI image stabilization which supports steady shots. So in the corner there, uh, you can press that to activate uh, steady shots, as you can see there. Let's bring that closer to the camera. Press that again, that deactivates it. And then there's one more feature as well, which is uh, a focus thing uh, here, tracking shots. Uh, so with this, you'll be able to track your subject and then you can crop into them as well, especially when shooting wide angle uh, situations. So for best tracking though, you have to get your uh, subject uh, in the center and just get them to maintain a uh, two meter distance as well. So you'll be able to still capture it. Uh, I tried it out the other day and it looks really nice. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying that a bit more. Obviously when capturing video and content on this is not just about visual. You've also got audio as well. So you've got auto zoom or audio. So when you zoom in, in on your subject, the audio focus uh, kind of follows them as well. So if you then zoom in, for example, the audio should get, uh, so you still capture them no matter how far away they are from you. You also have audio focus as well. So when using that selfie camera, the ultra vision selfie camera, you'll be able to focus that audio. Uh, so you have directional sound pickup, which lets you amplif amplify the voice of the subject that's in focus whilst also boosting clarity and minimizing that audio that you get in the ambient. So all the noise that's going on around you is minimized. Besides everything that we've mentioned, you've got your face ID unlock, which works really quickly. You've also got fingerprint one as well. So you can just press like so to unlock your phone. You get into your device and and another cool feature that Huawei keeps using and sticking to is that IR blaster that's on top. Uh, so you can use your smartphone to control your TV, for example, or any uh, devices at home that uses infrared blaster. So which color do you guys prefer, this uh, Mystic Silver version uh, or the black version? Let me know in the comments below. I prefer this color uh, for sure. You also get stereo speakers as well. So one at the bottom and then one at the top right there. And it sounds really loud. It's actually one of the loudest I've heard uh, on any smartphone to date. It's also nice to have those gestures available as well. So for example, I can take a screenshot by doing so. That takes a screenshot on the smartphone. Or if it's 
closed, I can also use this to recognize my finger. So it knows to wake up the device and then I can unlock it and get into my smartphone. Those are some really nice and cool gestures to have. And then you can also use it to scroll up and down as well, which is pretty cool. So if your hands are busy at the moment or you're cooking in the kitchen and they're greasy or something, you don't want to touch your phone, you can just do use it to do that as well. Okay, for the next bit, which is for the FreeBuds uh, Studio, I thought we'd unbox it using the front-facing camera so we can actually see that in action as well, including the audio, because this should be able to pick up my audio, my voice, as I'm speaking to the camera very comfortably well. And hopefully the visual as well, as I can see now, it looks really good. I'm liking it so far. So let's get into this box and see what this one is about. So on the box, it says the FreeBuds uh, Studio as intelligent, dynamic, active noise cancellation bonus you have high resolution audio and awareness mode and on the back we have more information so we have 48 kilohertz high resolution audio it means you get really good sound quality out of this most pair of overhead headphones don't really have that level they have like 28 or something like that so this is giving you a lot uh, for your money and then you've got six mic noise cancellation for cause calls as well so you don't only get noise cancellation for listening to your sound uh, listening to the audio your music or so, and so on you also get it for when you're making phone calls as well so your voice sounds really clear and good and then you've got that uh, dual device connection. This is important. If you have more than one devices, like I've got two Mate 40 Pros here, uh, be able to connect this to both devices and be able to switch easily, uh, dynamically between both devices, depending on which one I'm using to listen to music at any time. So let's unbox this. I know you guys are thinking, can we actually see it? So there we are. Inside of the box, you get a carry case. Looks really nice. I like the finishing on it as well. It looks solid. So you, your device is nice and secure in there. Before we open this up, let's see what else is here. Uh, looks like a booklet for all your user manuals and quick setup guide. And I think that's all you get. Yep, that's all you get inside the box. And then this carry case, you just open this up. Oh, the other way. <laughs> There we are. Oh, this looks nice. So it's also available in gold color as well, but this is the black uh, version, as you can see there, looks really super nice. I like this. And you've got this bendy headband as well. So this is nice and robust. And then you've got your drivers there. It's got this nice uh, shape to it as well. So this is also a touchpad. Uh, so you can use it to double tap to press and play, answer phone calls and stuff. You can swipe up and down to increase volume, decrease volume, and you can also swipe the other way uh, to change track. And uh, before I go to the next bits, you also get your charging cable in there as well. So this is USB, standard USB to USB-C. So on the buttons on the side, as you can see there, we have Bluetooth, the power button uh, there as well, and then your microphones, and then uh, you've got a USB-C charging port on that. And then on the other side, we have the active noise cancellation button that you can easily press to activate it and change different awareness mode because you have different levels. Uh, you have a really strong one, so that's for noisy areas. Then you got a medium version of uh, mode, which means if I'm just out and about in the house, for example, and then you got completely off, for example. But then it looks it looks really nice and light. It feels really nice and light rather than looks. Uh, so you can see what they look on. Nice and comfortable. So this is running Kirin A1 chip in there as well, again, using all that AI power and processing in there to make sure you get really good sound quality out of that. And this is nice as well. This is nice and soft and comfortable. In terms of battery, you get 410 milliamp hour battery in there. So you get 10, 20 hours uh, of playback if you're using uh, active noise cancellation or 24 hours without active noise cancellation. There's more though. If you pair this off with your uh, Huawei Mate 40 Pro, you get longer battery life because everything's managed better. You talking to each other in the same ecosystem will always result in better experience. This charges very quickly as well. So 10 minutes of charge alone will get you uh, around five hours of playback with active noise cancellation on or eight hours without active noise cancellation on. I'm looking forward to trying out that active noise cancellation to see how strong it is, uh, if I can still pick up noise and all that kind of stuff. Easy to set up as well. It's got that auto pickup. So when you uh, turn on your smartphone and you put this next to it, uh, it just picks it up as well. Something that we've seen with the FreeBuds Pro. One thing that you'll notice on these 40 millimeters drivers as well is there's no 3.5 mil headphone port. So on here, you won't be able to connect uh, like with cables to your smartphone, for example, or other devices. But via Bluetooth, you'll be able to connect to your Huawei MateBook Pro, for example, uh, you'll be able to connect to your smartphone and so on. So like I said, pairing is very easy. So <laughs> before I was even able to show you guys, uh, the pairing process is just gone through and done. It's what it needs to do. Uh, so that's now in my, uh, my devices there. So if you can see it right there, it shows you the devices. 
Uh, and then I can turn, I can turn things like awareness off, noise cancelling off. Uh, I can change audio quality as well. Uh, prioritize connection quality, prioritize uh, audio quality when you've got Wi-Fi connection. And then you've got find my earphones, wear detection. So when you take it on and off, uh, it's good to have that on to save battery life uh, on, the, on, the, on the bud on the FreeBuds Studio, you'll be able to have that there. You can update it as well, and any app will tell you uh, what battery life you got left in the free uh, in the FreeBuds Studio. Boom, so that's it for the Huawei Mate 40 Pro and the FreeBuds Studio as well, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, as always, uh, drop them there as well. There'll be all relevant links in the description area, including where to buy from, and if I find any offers as well, I drop them there as well for you guys to check out. But in the meantime, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification as well, so you'll be one of the first people to know every time I have a new video up on the channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.